Well, hello folks. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick little addendum on the Tento 7x35s and we're going to do it uh, based on a comparison to the Nikon Action. Not Action Extremes, just the Actions and I don't know what, uh, what age these Actions are. I picked them up over a year ago and uh, sold them for cost to a friend of mine and today I just asked him to give them back because when we did the Tento review we were looking at pine needles and I got a little pushback uh, on that review uh, claiming that there's no way that the, the Tentos uh, wouldn't outperform a Nikon Aculon. I'm not sure that the Aculon optics are really different from the actions. Uh, they may be. I know that the action is definitely a different design uh, for one and this is the quick and dirty on it. Uh, the focuser operates a whole lot better than the Aculon did and the diopter is essentially the, on this one. And again, you guys can go figure out what the age is. Uh, it doesn't have a separate diopter ring which is hard to get to. Uh, the entire cup uh, rotates as your diopter much easier to work with. It's very sturdy. Uh, looks like it has nice coatings on the glass. I just uh, took them out and uh, Steve helped me out. We set up the 1951 test target so we're not just looking at pine needles this time. We're essentially comparing these Tentos to something simple and store-bought. Uh, something that you can run out and get at, you know just about any sporting goods store. And the bottom line is, uh, and this time we, we paste it off at 28 yards so that we could get hopefully a little finer uh, resolution, get, get in on those smaller uh, hatch marks on the target. And Steve set it off. He started out with both of them and essentially the Tentos came in at group negative one element six while the actions came in at group zero element one. Uh, I sat down after him and we, these things were firmly rested. Uh, we had a, a perfect view of the target. I tried it myself and I concur it was exactly the same which in a way duplicates what the original test with the Aculon showed that while they were close. Uh, the Tentos, as famous as they may be, just didn't make it compared to uh, standard Nikons. So uh, that I, was something I thought you ought to know and not leave it up to pine needles. Um, what I could pass on beyond that is simply that uh, while I do love the smoothness of the Tento central focus, the diopter on mine is a, a, a little too easy to turn. It's easy to lose your setting on it. Uh, the Nikon action is much firmer. You set it, it isn't going to go anywhere. Uh, central focus isn't quite as smooth but at the same time it's uh, very well positioned and uh, easy enough to work with. Your sweet spot on the Tentos uh, actually wound up just being 50 percent. Sweet spot on these I'd estimate about 60 percent. As my son pointed out I forgot some things and I've got to fill in those blanks. Um, I do want to say that there are two other aspects about these binoculars. Uh, the Tentos, I would, on any given day, I'd have no problem taking these things out and enjoying the wildlife. Uh, but between them, there is, there is a difference in other than pure resolution. The Tentos, and I've had plenty of binoculars that have haze and I'm not talking about haze from damaged prisms from fungus. I'm not talking about, um, you know, outgassing from old World War II binocs. Nothing like that. Uh, nothing nearly that bad. But uh, I don't know the age of these Tentos, and this may not even be a fair 
uh, comparison in this sense, other than if you're buying these, there's a good chance you're buying them used. Just be aware. These had ever, ever so slight a haze or something, if, if I don't even call it haze, it's just less than perfectly clear. Um, doesn't really disturb my enjoyment of them until you look through these. Uh, these exhibit, the actions exhibit uh, what I would call real transparency. It is as if there's a vacuum between the binocular and the distant target. There's, it seems like there's absolutely nothing between the lenses and the target. Uh, they're better in that sense. Now the one thing the Tento is definitely coming out ahead on and this may be important to you. When it comes to chromatic aberration, both of them exhibit it, but the Tento's less. In fact, while they both had something kind of like a slight aura of violet, uh, these it was a much tighter aura. It was essentially half of what these the actions produced. Um, would I not use the actions? No, this is this is a very nice store-bought binocular. It's certainly worth the price. Um, for what I paid for the Tentos, definitely worth the price. Just be aware that these are possible issues. You buy these things new, which you can, more, a lot more readily than you can buy the Tentos new, and you can pretty much expect a great deal of transparency. Um, these, you might get the haze. But as far as chromatic aberration, if this Tento is typical of what they offer uh, and you don't like the chromatic aberration, you want to see it cut down, you might want to give these a pass because these definitely gave less. And that is our addendum on the Tento 7x35s and our very, very slight review on these actions, which I'm going to give back to my friend now. Uh, they feel great. Uh, I have no problem taking these things out. Um, but um, yeah, if I had to choose, I think I'd go the whole route, spend the few extra bucks and get the waterproof action extremes why not have waterproof at least as long as it'll last that's it thank you and we'll see you later